me. I'm going to start by simply bringing us into safe and sacred space together so that we can come into a high feminine frequency and actually build and co-create together a temple template for which to have this experience. So very simple. It's all just with intention. I'll invite you to um, bring your hands in that very classic um, mudra from yoga and then place that right on your heart with the intention of truly like a light switch, like turning on the sanctuary space of your heart, opening that up. And let's just take a couple deep breaths together. So often in this mainstream, very masculine culture, we find ourselves in our head. And so these first couple breaths are just an opportunity to invite yourself down into the softness, the safety, the silence, and the sanctuary of your precious feminine heart. And as you give yourself permission to go down to your heart, let us make an intention that all of us that are together in this moment and anybody that will join in at any other moment to listen to this, that we all come together as sisters, heart to heart, woman to woman, womb to womb, soul to soul, sister to sister reclaiming our connections from the ancient past and from the sacred realms, knowing that when women come together in the heart space, we remember more of who we are in each other's presence. May we tune in and turn on those ancient feminine archetypes within us, the mystic, the sorceress, the priestess, She who walks the way and knows herself as goddess. I invite that part of you to come forth, to be held here, to be honored here, to be woven into this sacred space and this sacred sister circle in this moment so that your connection to another woman on the energetic realms helps you to amplify and awaken even more of those parts within you. And any part of us that we are plugged into the illusion of not enoughness and undeservedness, we ask to be cleared and released of those now in this sacred space. And I invite you to stream forth from your heart a beautiful burst of light. And that burst of light is your piece of the architecture that helps us to build this beautiful feminine temple today. We come into that temple in the sacred realms beyond space and time, in liminal space between the worlds. Let us step from our regular lives in the third dimension as mothers and workers and wives and friends and people with a to-do list. And let's leave that all behind and I invite you to accept at the gateway of this temple, a beautiful white robe, the robe of the goddess, the robe of your magic self. That self has been indoctrinated out of you through school and work and all the to-dos and all the expectations. But in this space, we reclaim that. We reclaim our feminine intuition. We reclaim our inner knowing. We reclaim our connection to our heart. We reclaim the inner priestess, healer, mystic, seer, sorceress, light worker, lover. And I invite you just to speak to yourself and say this three times. We're all on you. You could say this out loud. I am here. I am here. I am here. And so it is that we meet and merge on these sacred realms, beautiful sisters, in this temple space. It's, it's that simple to call forth the inner goddess, to truly tune in, tap in, and to imagine that you bring her forward through all space and time. 
Beautiful. And so our circle in this moment is cast, blessed be, and welcome. And I'm going to start off our time, our temple time together today um, by sharing some of the messages that I've been getting from Divine Mother, these uh, sacred feminine messages that help us, even as you hear them, they will help you to align with your inner feminine. Each message will be an invitation for you to go deeper into that sacred connection with the feminine self. There are specific messages for this time, um, but certainly applicable in any time of our life. The first message that Divine Mother gave me is that um, to remember that at the very core of our being as humans, we are wired for connection. And connection is a feminine superpower. And although we're not able to connect, in the traditional way right now because of everything happening in the world and with the virus and with the quarantine, Divine Mother asks you and invites you to look at where else you might find connection, true, authentic connection. Is it connection with nature? Is it connection with stories? Is it connection with your sacred self? That's really her invitation right now. Are you willing to take this opportunity when the world is slowing down to truly drop into your inner temple and get so deeply connected to yourself, knowing that connection is the fundamental nourishment of the divine feminine? Her second message is around the willingness to be in the unknown. Everything in life will tell us that we're safe if we're in control. And a lot of us have those patternings and those frequencies embedded within us. Oftentimes I'll look at words and I'll ask the words to decode themselves. And the word control decoded herself for me. The word control has the word con, the root con, which is con, constrict. Con, meaning the biggest con job that you can imagine. Con, control, is a big con. It's totally false. It's a false matrix. It's a false sense of safety. And so what the Divine Feminine is asking of us in this moment is, do we have the courage, again, another decoded word, core is the heart in French. Courage is the willingness to be in the heart, not in the head. Do we have the courage to be in the unknown right now and to truly surrender control, to not know? The mantra that I've, living, that I've been living by lately is, I am willing to not know. When I say that to myself, it starts a revolution in my body. I, it gives me the greatest permission. I am willing to not know. I give myself permission to be in this unknown. And the dark, the lunar, is the feminine. We're taught, stay in the light, stay happy, do anything that, that, that you can do, always be successful, be on. And that's just one piece. That's the electrical nature of life. It's actually the masculine nature. The feminine is the lunar. She's the dark. She's the receptive energy, the magnetic energy. Did you know that as a woman, your wombs are actually receptive? They are the receptacles in your body. They are what takes in all of the energy around. And for a woman, her heart is the electrical energy. It is how she expresses, how she is naturally designed to express. Although some of us, part of why we're so disconnected to our feminine is because we've been taught through schools to express through our heads. It's not our fundamental biology to express through our head. For a woman, our fundamental biology is to express through our heart. So the Divine Feminine asks you, are you willing to go to those places of the unknown in the dark? And when you're there, you can either feel like you are constricted, like you are in a tomb, or you could feel the potential of gestation that you are in a womb. So maybe, just maybe, this time of being in the unknown, of being in the dark, 
something is birthing. Something is getting ready to be born. And it's not just that we're all stuck at home and annoyed about it. <laughs> the next message that Divine Mother gives me is that life is a hologram. This one is so simple. She says in my meditation, smile at life and life will smile back. Find the places at life. We're so programmed to look at where things are wrong and what needs to be fixed. And again, fixing is a very patriarchal way of, um, of being in relationship to life, as if life is fundamentally wrong and it needs to be fixed. Divine Mother asks you, are you willing to allow it to be as it is? And to look at where we can smile at life and inevitably, because life is a mirror and a hologram, life will smile back. Smile from your heart. And what is smiling from the heart? Gratitude. Where can we be grateful for anything at all? That vibration, that frequency is smiling from the heart. Her final message is about being in a flow state. If you look at great athletes or incredible poets, part of what's happening is that they are out of their own way and they're letting their genius, they're letting their divinity flow through them. They're being a conduit in that moment. So being in the flow state is very much being in the body and again, getting out of our own way, getting out of our head. So how do we get out of our head when everything in our culture is designed to keep us there? <laughs> well, we unplug from the matrix and go into what I call the temple, my body temple. You can call it meditation. You can call it slowing down. You can call it stillness. You can call it quiet, but it's the simple intention and act of unplugging and turning inward toward the self. Going inward is feminine. Again, that dark contraction, expansion. These are two cycles of life. Whenever we birth, those of us who have birthed babies, we know this. This is a natural cycle. And oftentimes we delete and don't value the cycle of the inward. We only value the expanse. And so these are just some things to think about. These are ways that you begin to honor the feminine again within, within yourself. So one of the things that I know about this time right now is that um, we have just come out of a cycle, a 26,000 year cycle called the Kali Yuga cycle. Some of you may have heard this terminology. And the Kali Yuga cycle was a cycle of complete separation, complete separation from self. The human self and the divine self were separated. And when those two things are separated, then the human self, as we've seen in history, kind of goes mad. It, it, it's completely out of control. It, uh, it, it has a tendency to not be connected to the heart or make choices from the heart or connect from the heart. We're in a new cycle now. We are ascending. And part of this ascension process is that divine mother, the divine feminine, and not women, we're not talking women here, we're talking the essence and the energy of the feminine that has been totally deleted from the program that we've lived in all these many years. She's now returning, she's coming back. And the way that she's coming back is through the portals within our own consciousness. She comes back through me. And she comes back through you. And she comes back through her. And she comes back through him. And then all together, we begin to hold a frequency that is the feminine frequency again. That feminine frequency will call the inner patriarch in us back to balance. The inner patriarch in you is the critic. It's the one that's constantly telling you, you should, you should, you should. You have to do, do, do. You have to prove. You have to get something outside of yourself to feel worthy. 
when you call forth your inner feminine, she calls that inner patriarch back into balance. And then divine feminine, divine masculine come into balance again. And it's a beautiful thing when that happens. Because we're no longer spinning all the time. Do you ever feel like you're on a hamster wheel just constantly in life? Trying to prove something, trying to prove something. So when we call back the divine feminine, we call back that inner patriarch. And he is welcomed home as the divine masculine again. Now I want to be very mindful when I say this part. <laughs> divine masculine serves divine feminine. Not at all men serving women. Absolutely not. The divine masculine energy is designed to serve the feminine energy. In other words, the heart is the motherboard of your body. It's meant to lead. The head is meant to serve the heart when the heart leads. Right now, when we're disconnected, just our heads are in charge and our heads don't know how to be in charge and they, they're lost. And so we're an entirely head culture that's completely lost looking for something. And it's right there. It's right there. We just have to unblock the block that's there. And this is some of the work that I help women do to unblock this block so we can return to our heart and then reconnect to source again, reconnect with the intelligence, the feminine intelligence that's always there, always wanting to guide that beautiful, intuitive inner voice that will always lead you in the right direction. So I'm going to bring you through a process, which is to drop into our body and to use color frequency. Color frequency is a very potent, powerful tool. The way that I'm going to call us uh, into the divine feminine today is with the color fre frequency of pale pink. If when we call her in, you begin to get a different color, totally follow that because she's coming to you in a different way in a way that's more potent and more applicable for your frequency in your body. We're gonna call her in, we're gonna allow that frequency, that feminine frequency to completely flood our body and all of our cells, all of our organs, our blood, and we're gonna imagine that we are held in the arms of the mother. And I'm gonna invite you, I'm gonna talk you through leaning back and letting her hold you. And in this moment, know that when you allow all of the places in you that are constricted, you don't have to figure them out. You don't have to understand why you don't feel like you're enough or why you're constantly in this loop and this pattern with a partner. We really actually, we don't need to figure those things out anymore. The plasma light right now is so high and so strong and her love is so present. All we need to do is let go, lean back and allow her to bring us back into divine order. When I say her, I mean that feminine energy, that love. We all know that sentence and that phrase, love heals all, it really is the truth. Love is divine order. When we allow ourselves to lean back and be saturated and held by love, it will bring those things into divine order. So as we go into this meditation, this experience, if there's anything in particular that you know that feels out of divine order for you, where you're in a real fear place, uh, maybe it's something around what's happening in the world, maybe it's simply um, that you are wanting to call in, like Maya said, a, a partner. Whatever feels like it's not how you want it to be, just bring that to the forefront and just name that as your heart intention and take that into this experience, okay? Zoom is not the best with sound when it comes to playing music, but I will do my best here to um, just ever so gently guide you for a moment of silence after I take you through. I'll play some music and we'll do the best we can with that. It'll just be for a moment or two. Okay, so here we go. I love to, um, to, to do this process with my hand on my heart. So if that feels right for you, I'll invite you to place your hand on your heart. Taking some nice deep breaths and really bringing yourself down into your body. The way to get into your body is to simply notice and feel your body. Notice 
the rise and fall of your chest as you breathe. And ever so gently, take a nice inhale, activating the wings of your heart, those beautiful lungs on either side of the heart. Fill them up, activate the wings of your heart. Hold the breath at the top of the throat, sip in a little bit more air, and then slowly exhale through the mouth like you're breathing through a straw. melt into the body in this moment. For optimal receiving, I love bringing people into resonance with themselves first. So simple to be in resonance with yourself. Just say to yourself, feel these words as I offer them. I allow myself to be exactly as I am in this moment. I allow myself to be exactly as I am. Any war that I've been waging with myself, I let it go. And then from the very top of the head, from the soul star chakra, imagining that there's a beautiful rose that is in a bud form. And with your inner eye, the soul star chakra is about six feet above the top of the head. With the inner eye, I'm gonna invite you to watch as we invite that bud to open, unfurl expand. So there's a beautiful open rose. And right at the center of that rose, we'll call forth the nectar of the pale pink frequency, which is the feminine frequency to come through the very center of that rose and begin to flood down your chakra column an elixir of love as this beautiful pale pink elixir begins to flood your energy body, allow it to be breathed into your physical body as well. Imagining that your physical body is like a sponge, breathing it into all of your organs, bringing your organs into divine order, breathing it into your blood, breathing it into your nervous system. Breathing it down into the bones even and the bone marrow. Soft, silky, gentle, all allowing and unconditional feeling yourself surrender and melt into this pale feminine frequency that is divine mother's love. What if just for this blessed holy moment, everything was taken care of? Everything in your life was taken care of and you could lean back and simply receive nothing to do, just allow her to flood you from head to toe. Let go, beautiful one, let go, let go. And she's showing me in this moment a like a stream inviting you to imagine that 
in this frequency that is her pale feminine pink frequency that you can actually lean back into it as if it was water. Mm, she's showing me a beautiful visual of just your gorgeous naked body being able to just relax and be buoyant in the water. And what would it feel like to allow the water to simply carry you, just carry you? For one minute, I'm going to play some beautiful music for you to listen to and experience this. Just keep saying yes. Yes, I receive, I let in. Yes, I let go. Just enjoy, let her flood you, knowing that every moment things are being brought into divine order if you allow them. And there's one mantra here. It's a gateway activating experience. Say to yourself, I am everything. I am nothing. I am everything. I am nothing. The true divine feminine is the zero point between everything and nothing. That point of birth. That sacred cosmic mother's womb. That is the truth of the nature of who you are. When you surrender to the divine feminine at the deepest level, you surrender identity. You surrender the need to control. You surrender the need for abundance even. And you surrender into the absolute knowing that you will be taken care of. It can be so scary. But in this moment today, we just encode yourselves to remember the truth that it's all okay. You are held, you are healed, you are whole, you are holy, you are home in mother's love. Breathe that in. And let it be written on every one of your cells in this moment as we activate this deep within. Your head might not understand, but deep within your body, seeing on every single one of your trillion cells, I am safe.
It is done, it is done, it is done. We ask the higher self, the angels, any guides, spirits, soul, family, galactic beings, and of course the essence and aspects of Divine Mother herself to continue to assist you with this, to whisper the truth of this back into your being in your dreams. This is the coming home. We're in a new era, beautiful brothers and sisters. We're in a new era of unplugging from all of the indoctrination that we have to do anything to prove ourselves or to force or to make things happen. Your invitation is to begin to value the stillness, the softness, the not being, excuse me, the not doing, but the being. The more that we begin to practice and value that within ourselves, the more we connect to her, the more she can care for us. She's always been here. We can feel her more if we open our hearts and allow. Thank you so much for being willing to receive this experience today. May the pink frequency continue to flow if you would allow it to, it will continue throughout the day. Well, I just got chills. So yes, it will continue throughout the day for those of you that are saying yes to that. You can just go ahead and say an inner yes if you're going to allow her to continue to work with you. And um, thank you. We are complete. And I like to say after a ceremony, even though this is a short ceremony, the work of this circle is done. But beautiful beings, it's only just begun. May you return to ordinary lives, knowing that you are extraordinary beings. Blessed be and thank you for having me.